hello and welcome back to my channel or to my channel this is my first video actually back and we're gonna do a Q&A and get ready with me um I guess let's get right into it where do I start okay all right so while we're doing brows I'm going to answer some questions that I received from um, the Instagram questions um, I'm also gonna do from the TikTok Q&A so um, bear with me all right first question I'm going to skip all the inappropriate ones which is a lot here's one from underscore the annoying oh just kidding underscore the underscore annoying underscore kid underscore all right what's your favorite thing to watch so my favorite thing at the moment um, kind of I have, I have a lot I have a lot so I'm not really focusing on one show. I just finished Attack on Titan and, you know, I'm up to the current episode, so I'm not loving the fourth season at all. Um, other than that, if we're talking like not anime, then it would be horror movies. Um, I really want to rewatch The Nun because um, that was the last good horror movie that I remember seeing. It had It's been a really long time like since they came out with a good one next are there any real questions in here here's one from Chaz dot long top five anime there's so many good ones but i really just love inuyasha so that's my top one i suppose um second would have to be it's hard maybe d gray man or naruto um that's, those are up there too. They're kind of all up there. You know, shows I used to watch as a kid and just fell in love with again. Uh, Shaman King's up there. I don't know if anyone remembers Shaman King. That's an old one. Um, did I already say D. Gray Man? I don't know if I already said that, but if not, then D. Gray Man. And uh, Death Note, obviously. Underscore Voodoo Mama Juju says Elvira or Morticia. That one's hard. I love them both in different ways, but I might have to say Morticia just because she's like a little more elegant, I suppose. Not that Elvira's not elegant, because, I mean, she's not that elegant. She's more out there, but I love them both for different reasons. Ah, uh, Lewis53, he says, what's your next tattoo? Well, um, I would like my next tattoo to either be Dr. Stein from Soul Ita. Or I want to start a big side thigh, side butt, side in general piece. Hmm underscore X underscore Jalen, hope I'm saying that right, says, have you ever bowled a perfect game? And the answer is no. I suck at bowling. Very bad. But I do enjoy it. Alright, moving on. MM Mark. Mark spelled with additional letters. O riffs. There's no way I'm pronouncing that. Okay. Pineapple on pizza. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's just a personal blah, 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 blah. personal preference because I don't like to mix sweet with salty in general, unless it's chocolate and sea salt because that's just like an unbeatable combination. Type underscore split says, what made you choose the goth lifestyle and why are you so damn pretty? Okay, well, thank you first of all. First of all, first off, I meant to say first of all, and then I just combined the two. Okay, it really started with like emo and punk. You know, I didn't have dyed hair, or I didn't have like anything really yet. I had to work with what I had, and it was just, you know, this little 11 year old girl with like brown hair, and I would put my like my hair, I didn't have bangs, so I would just like put it all in front of my face, and um, my teachers would always ask me to take it out on my face, and I, I just didn't want to because like. You know, I just didn't want to, I didn't look at So that was my emo style. Oh, and I had like a school uniform. It was like a blue turnic. Turn it. Tunic? Can't speak at all today. Why am I nervous? Okay. So <laughs> it's really hard to kind of express my style. But even when I was really little, like, I was always into like that kind of stuff. Okay, inappropriate, 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 inappropriate. Use of pants. So optional? 
no, this is pants optional. There's no cell in it, I'm just done. All right, is cereal technically a soup? I'm not really sure where I stand in that, because it kind of is. I need some time to think. So Julian underscore 420024 said, what did you uh, start first, YouTube, Insta, or TikTok? I um, started YouTube when I was like, you know, super seen and, um, you know, I was making those proof videos like, hi, I'm real and I deleted them a million years ago and I'm so pissed off about it. I wish I still had those, they're hilarious. Then came Instagram and TikTok I started like sometime last year. So I hope that answers that question next. Travesty.Bellard said, when are you doing an OnlyFans Live again? And I will be doing an OnlyFans Live again randomly. You'll have to keep your eyes peeled. But I'll definitely post about it beforehand if I do, so keep your eyes open. Underscore anxiety underscore world 999 says, what's your favorite Halloween candy? Halloween. The frick Halloween, okay. Um, what's your favorite Halloween candy? I like anything dark chocolate, but when I used to trick or treat as a kid, Kit Kats were my favorite. I don't know. I like anything crunchy. Okay. Um, Ragtime2021 says, How did you find the courage to have your style the way it is now? Makeup slash hair slash clothes. Clothes. Okay. Well, um, I kind of just... Uh, I don't know if I really call it courage. I guess I just always wanted to look like what I wanted to look like. So even when I was younger and I had this type of style and, you know, kids were mean back then. And this wasn't popular back then. So... Well, I was doing it back then and getting bullied for it, but I liked it, so I was just like, I'm gonna do it anyway. And I think regardless of my style, I still wouldn't have been popular, so I don't think it would have made a difference, and I think that's why I kind of kept that, but, um, where was I going from that? But I think it's really great that, um, people are so accepting of it now, so I would just say me and do what you want to do, be who you want to be, etc. Um, you know, because that's the most important thing. Kudu Chizu says, where do you get your clothes? Okay, I'm actually super fashion challenged. Um, like, super fashion challenged, but um, my favorite places to get clothes. Um, you can find a lot of good stuff on Amazon, to be honest, but I like Killstar, uh, Crucible 666. Uh, Killstar, Crucible 666, Amazon. Uh, goth Baby Store. And there's a bunch of websites that I like that um, I can't remember because it's just usually from Target as on Instagram. But uh, the kid logo says favorite food? Question mark. Um, okay, uh, where's, my, where's my stuff? All right, favorite food um, is definitely either like avocado rolls or dim sum. I'm freaking obsessed with dim sum. And I'm obsessed with Greek food. Okay, uh, Justin Chow 2020 says, How tall are you and could you tell your weight if you don't mind? Um, I appreciate the uh, kindness in that. I know like that's a sensitive subject just in general. Um, I, don't, I don't mind. So uh, I'm 5'4. I fluctuate around like 150, 155. Um, I always struggle with weight. I was, you know, very, very overweight as a kid. Um, and you know, I'm still overweight technically, but um, different bodies and different shapes, um, you know, have different weights that are best for them. So you can't always go by uh, by weight. You know, you have to go by what you think looks best, how you feel. Find a balance. Just be healthy, and you know, that's all that matters. Lost Cheru says, "What is your favorite makeup palette?" And oh uh, god, there's so many good ones. Uh, right now, I love using the Beauty Bay um, uh, collab with uh, Mitchell. I don't know if you pronounce the ms in front of it, but yeah, that palette's a really good palette because I, I just think it has like a lot of colors that you would need. There's this um, the one thing it doesn't really have is like a good orange, but it has like a red orange and like a yellow. So I don't know. It covers a lot of my needs. Uh, TJ Games 2002 says, "Do you play video games? If you do, then what's your favorite video game?" I used to play video games night and day when I was younger, um, but not still not like, you know, shooters and stuff like that. I, I used to play Okami a lot. Um, I still love Okami. I play it sometimes. Um, I used to play Animal Crossing. Um, I don't have the new one, but I heard it's really good. Um, I love, I wouldn't consider myself a gamer because these are all like, you know, not things that you game, I guess. 
but um, any Mario parties or like Mario tennis, Mario baseball, whatever, love those. Uh, oh, I love Harvest Moon, so just that. Okay, so out of hundreds of questions, it looks like 90% uh, of them were inappropriate, and um, so I guess that kind of does it for the questions. I'm gonna try to wrap this up, but um, let me just let me just finish the look. So thank you so much guys for the recording. Okay, thank you so much for bearing with me um, on my first video back to YouTube. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, you know I am the most awkward person on the entire planet. And um, if you have any suggestions for videos you want to see in the future, um, please comment below and let me know. Or you can like yell, um, reach out on my other social media platforms. Um, I'm always open to suggestions, and I want to show you guys what you want to see. So, um, with that being said, um, I hope you come back. Please uh, like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.